Hi guys, starting this vlog off in Montauk today. So obviously a different scenery here. We are staying at an Airbnb right in town in Montauk and we're here for, well, we just wanted to come, but it's also my birthday this weekend. So today is July 7th. I'm a bit behind on the videos, but I'm trying to keep up. Like I've been saying, it's such a busy month. So I'm editing basically like when I'm traveling on the plane or train or whatever. Today is Friday morning. Carly and I are gonna do a soul cycle class here. Oh, here she is. Hi. Um, <laughs> We're gonna do a soul cycle class right now and walk to town and then we're gonna get lunch in town, go to the beach today and go out tonight. We're gonna go to Talk House. If you do come to Montauk and wanna know where to go out, that's a popular place, but it's gonna be crazy. Montauk is honestly in the Hamptons. It's just so oversaturated now where to be honest, you have to wait in like an hour long line a lot of the time and also pay, you know, $50 to get in for like the bigger places like Talk House. And then on Saturday, we're going to Surf Lodge and for that we're paying 150 dollars but at least it comes with food so we're gonna sit and eat food um and go there for the day so that is the plan and that's why i only do it once a summer and i'm not someone that comes here every weekend because yeah that's just the truth if you want to come and do the whole experience it's expensive but so actually soul cycle sent me a free birthday cost so that's why we're going today so we'll check back in when we're in town oh and by the way i forgot to say there's eight of us staying in this house right here it's just um everyone's kind of doing their own thing this morning whether it be like lily's training for marathon some people went on a beach walk just choose your own adventure and we're doing cycling oh <laughs> i forgot the word okay bye vlogging we're talking about how this group wakes up a lot earlier Carly's here with my college friends Carly's from my high school group and it's just funny because whenever I go with the college girls they all wake up at 7 a.m. even if we go out the night before but then the high school girls like no one is allowed to speak before like 10 a.m. so it's always an adjustment for me each trip so it's just funny because Carly's not used to it. just like wow everyone's really up and talking at 7 a.m. I'm like yep how we do it and then they're already at the beach meanwhile we haven't even gotten lunch yet but so that place bambi's only had smoothies and stuff so we're gonna go to joni <laughs> carly and i both got these curry up wraps which is kind of random but it's basically like chicken salad it's cold oh yeah this is night and day from Naples. Yay, birthday surprise. Um, vegan date. Oh. This is a brownie muffin. <laughs> chocolate cookie. Orange, I want the chocolate cookie. Yeah, it looks really good actually. Okay. The late car is on their way to Montauket, which is our first bar tonight. <laughs> um, just came down to birthday surprise, but I was in a really bad mood because I couldn't figure out what to wear. But found something. Found this good old shirt that I always wear. Yeah, we turned it around. We turned it around. Yeah. Um, so now we're going to Montauk and then Talk House, and there will probably be a really long line at Talk House. We'll see. Oh. Squad. The clam squad already left. Wait, We're here by ourselves. Yep. The Wait, I don't want to go home, but I don't want to go to eat. I don't want to go to Comic Con. I think we're going home. Take me home. Take me home. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Quick 
stop on the way home to lunch lobster roll. Is that what this place is called? Yeah, it is. Nikki has. Hi guys, so I'm back home in New York City. I'm just gonna talk to you while I'm getting ready right now because I have my last of the birthday dinners tonight. So it is Monday, July 10th. Sorry, I already know in advance this is going up late because I'm kind of backlogged with editing and keeping up with real life amidst this move and travel plans and trying to spend a quality time with all my friends before I leave, which I do feel like I've been doing a good job at seeing everyone like individually and in groups and um, all of that. So I just got back from the Hamptons yesterday. Montauk is where we were staying and it was really fun, really, really expensive. I'm just gonna give the tea on Surf Lodge. So that's basically where all the influencers go and they get tables. And when we were there, there was actually like a brand event there. So there was one huge table with like a ton of influencers this weekend. Um, and we're in the background of photos stuffing our feet because we did get dinner so that was hilarious to see my friends getting every angle they were getting us at but I want to give the real info about it and that it is just so expensive to go there of course those influencers that you may follow they probably get deals and go for free and get invited by brands and stuff so I'm not being shady in any way I'm honestly super jealous because the venue was totally worth the hype in my opinion like there was a beach area uh, ow so hot um there was like a beach area where the bar is in the sand there's a deck area you can actually go in the water i don't know if you're supposed to but it is right on the water with a beach so and honestly the food was all really good and the drinks and everything the dinner itself was 150 and then when we got alcohol it was like 330 a person and that's on us getting multiple rounds of shots and then i think after dinner because that was only just dinner we stayed there for hours so then we each got like a few more drinks and i think the whole day was probably like 500 dollars um and that's insane and that's the most expensive dinner i've actually ever been to in my life of course it's my own birthday dinner i felt kind of bad but i think everyone knew that it was going to be an expensive uh endeavor and kind of just like something that's cool to do once a summer if you're girls like us um so that was the tea on that and then montauk in general was just like such a vibe i honestly loved it even more than i remember i went when i was younger i don't remember that super well because it was such a different time it's gotten so much more popular and built up in the last like 10 years um when i went i just have memories of being on the beach bonfires that sort of stuff but i didn't really pay attention to like the really cute cafes and lunch spots and the bars and i just loved all of it and it was just so beachy obviously but i i didn't realize it was like beachy enough where everyone's just like walk around shopping in their bikinis so love that i don't know if i have much else to say from the weekend other than super fun super beachy super expensive so exactly what you would have thought and then tonight is my birthday dinner at dante honestly why do i feel like this side looks kind of better but whatever um tonight is my birthday dinner at dante in the west village i honestly wasn't sure if i was gonna do another birthday thing but my hometown friends actually i usually do a dinner with them every year so they were just like all right when's the dinner <laughs> here we go a lot of the same people are usually away every summer and it's kind of a joke at this point like i have i have a home friend group of like 12 girls but i usually get the same five suspects each year and you guys will recognize every single one of them we are gonna go to dante i'll show you guys it is a monday but they have the best drinks ever i know i sound crazy because i was just drinking this weekend I swear this is not normally my life i just want to have fun and go out with my friends to drinks and dinner and all that more than i normally would yeah so i think we're gonna get some pasta pizza and i'll see you there in a few this is the best drink ever the funny margarita classic crew every year oh good i love a crispy bacon sandwich that's just part of it this is all the food that came out so far we have the cutest little designs here too. Are you two? Are you three? Are you four? Are you three? Are you 24? Happy birthday! Okay, what's your rating out of five for what my bones know? Honestly, I'm gonna give it a four out of five. Like, it's definitely right? complex. Uh -huh. And that's what's your word? Complex? Yeah. Complex or complex? Complex. Complex. Oh, All right. Beth and the puppy. Um, I'm going to give it a four out of five as well. And my word for what my bones know is educational. Wait, now it's okay. Asher, what are you gonna give it? What did Asher give? What? Asher, what are you gonna give it? Oh, he said he doesn't know how to read yet. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. Okay. <laughs> okay. 
<laughs> um, I hope Stephanie doesn't watch this, but I'm gonna give it a 2.5. Whoa! Whoa um, I think the book was really repetitive and I don't think she's a great writer. I, it was a little repetitive. But then, that's because she had to remind okay. us how bad to it me. was. Okay. <laughs> Fix her hair. <laughs> okay. I gave it a four out of five on Goodreads. Honestly, more in the three zone, maybe like a three eight for me. And the word would probably be informative. I like learning about the generational trauma. I thought that was really interesting. And like trauma. Yeah, me too. And like trauma of immigrant three, families. Three. Oh. Kind of. Asher's like, me four. Oh, Asher doesn't have trauma. Yeah. Yet. Confirm or deny. <laughs> Asher, do you have trauma? Peace. No. <laughs> if you can fall asleep that easily, you don't have trauma. Yeah. <laughs> well, okay, wait, what's our average then? Four, four, 2.5. Rachel, can you do math? I'll do it. Okay. 3.5 plus 3.5 plus Wait, literally not. Mine was literally four. 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 No, 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 no. And no. this is why I'm a therapist and not a finance girl. Got it. I, I work in social media. I work in social media, so I know. Four, four, two point five. So it was it was good. I didn't say three. Okay, I'm gonna do with our real scores, guys. Four, four. Plus. 2.5. Oh, okay. 3.6. I think passing that's fair. grade. You passing grade. You, it. Yeah. you have to get I think it's, I think that's very low. From a therapist perspective, I think it really depends. I told I said it from the get-go. I really liked it. I thought it was a great informative book. Um I will be counting it towards my hours for my license. Oh, really? Yeah, 100%. <laughs> you can count it towards your hours. Yeah, it was super informative. <laughs> I learned a lot. I think it really depends on what type of literature you like to read. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's days later. I'm editing and I wanted to say thank you for watching. I'm going to wrap up this vlog here. Um, if you made this far, subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up. It's about to be a very exciting next few days, weeks, months. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching and I will be back very soon. I'm just vlogging every day here on out. So, bye.